All right, so now the fill tool. There are two ways you can fill. So here I'll have all of them selected, and I'll hit Shift F. And it's going to find the easiest way to fill it in with only triangles. But that's not what we're going to do here. So hit Control Z to undo. So select only four. And then just hit F. And it's going to fill whatever four vertices you have selected with a four-sided polygon. And do that with both, front and side. All right, so now you have filled in. And scale it down a bit. Oh, my knee's looking a little wonky. Go over to this side and just adjust it so it matches the image. Now for the chest region. So let's have that over here. Oh, by the way, panning, hold down shift and middle mouse button. Same way you would rotate your camera, except hold down shift. Alright, so let's move this up place, grab everything. go. That looks good. And now for the shoulders. Quite possibly the trickiest piece to do correctly. Let's just extrude this. This will become the neck later on. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. Whatever. And then select these four side ones right here. X, face. Select the four and 
mid cut. Like that. Because square arms are not cool. Whoops. It's a little just in here. Six vertices that you have here. Nice round shape. Extrude. And flatten to the best of your ability. And then merge. Rotate. Select, extrude, rotate, scale, extrude, and already you can see there's a uh, nice shoulder shape taking form. I'm rushing this purely for tutorial reasons. Uh, if this were one of my series models, I would take the time to make it look nicer. But it's not, so I don't care. So now I'm going to show you how I do joints. Everyone does it different, I suppose. Um, this is just the way that works best for me. So I already have a placer set up for my joint, and uh, we'll be editing this here at the side. So what you're going to want to do is go into the loop cut midpoint. We get an additional set of vertices here in the middle. And in the back of the knee, so these back two here, delete them. So it looks like the back of the, the leg is missing. And then fill in all these gaps here. Just like I'm doing. Triangles in the top and the bottom should look just like the ones you do in the sketch, right here. There we go, just to make it a little bit tighter, scale this down, and increase that, there we go. That way when the knee bends it has more room to slide in this region right here. So now I'm going to go jump over to my other model, my finished Samus model. And you'll notice that it's very much like the image. I spent a lot of time working this to make it look proper. The joint is much sleeker looking here. Everything is very uniform. Everything has nice curves to it. There's also hands, but we won't worry about that now. So just keep working your model until it looks the way you want. Again, I hope this video was useful, educational in some way. Uh, thank you for watching, and enjoy the model spinning around in circles while the video fades out into black.